Raise your hand if you are guilty of comparing your subscribers, likes, and views to your competitors. We've all done it. But here's the secret. There is so much that subscribers, likes, and views won't do for your business. So what should you be measuring instead? Let's talk about it, my friends. But first, if you want to learn more secrets to driving massive impact and profit, click the link below and check out my 21 Days to Infinite Video Impact Challenge. One of the things that I teach my students is that because we know how to create content that coordinates with our value ladder and visibility ladder, we can make more money than some of the big players on YouTube, even if we have a smaller audience. And it's because we know how to monetize our message. Subscribers aren't necessarily people who actively engage with your movement. They might subscribe to you and never watch anything you put out. They might never click on those calls to action. They might subscribe and then disappear. You know that you're winning when you have that engagement and when people are actually nurtured and following you on your movement. So when I talk to my audience about creating content to build a movement, I'm talking more about the individuals, not about the big masses of subscribers. I talk about how you can share content in a way that really relates and resonates with the individuals watching it. When we're looking at the big audience of things, we miss out on who are the individuals that we can change their lives. When you can change one person's life, imagine the ripple effect that creates when they can go home and change their family, their business, their community, and the world. When you have likes and views on your content, that at least proves that people are seeing, enjoying, and engaging with your content. But then what happens next? Are they joining your movement? Are they clicking out of your content? Or are they just moving on? The engagement that you get from your videos is going to be one of the key indicators in showing, are they enjoying this? And then what are they coming to next? The next thing you wanna look at is your click-through rate of, are people opting in from your videos? In every video, you should have a call to action. This is how you're gonna date your audience. This is how you're gonna ask them on the next date. If you're on a date with the love of your life and you wanna see them again, you don't play hard to get, you ask them for the next date. In every single piece of content, there should be a call to action. You may have noticed at the beginning of this one, I invited you to join my 21 day challenge because if this content is impactful for you and you wanna know how to make a further impact and profit and actually know how to get the engagement, know how to make money and make a big impact and profit, even if you have small numbers that will continue to grow, how to make omnipresent assets, I'm showing you exactly how and I wanna be able to work with you on that. So how can you take your audience who just watches your content, maybe they're a first time viewer, they watch your content, they fall in love with your charismatic personality, and they wanna know how they can see more of you. Instead of just hitting that subscribe, which just cause they're subscribed doesn't mean that they're gonna see all of your content. When they join your email list, however, that's how you can continue to nurture that relationship. When they're on your email list, your emails will show up in their inbox. There are things to consider like spam and what kind of subject line you have that will capture their attention to open it. But when you have that list, you own that list and that's how you nurture them into your movement. When you have those raving followers that have joined your movement, your message goes beyond you. You have people that are raving about you and can't wait to share with their friends and family and really anyone that will listen and they can be taken along the journey with you. A lot of people are focusing on the vanity metrics and that's what I want you to get rid of today. Looking at the subscribers and the likes and the views, I know that that looks cool, but that won't put dollars in your bank account. Last time I checked, I can't deposit my followers into my bank account. So what really matters is the message you're sharing, how that makes an impact and how that leads them into your movement and potentially purchasing your products and services in the future. When I work with my clients, there's three steps that we go through. We look at your profit plan, we create a plan to build your influence, and then we look at your impact routine. We create your value ladder, meaning your, your products and services at every step from low ticket to high ticket, from front end to back end, how people can enter at an entry level and then go all the way up to your most expensive products. And then look at the visibility ladder, how you're indoctrinating people into your movement, how people discover you, how you build rapport with them, and then how you bring them into your VIP, your most intimate, your most warmest content. Vanity metrics are great and all, but if you're not taking advantage of your platform, it doesn't matter how many followers you have. Keep in mind the entire customer journey. Once they follow or like your content, how can you get them to join your movement? If you are looking for a clear and easy to follow outline for how to accomplish that and drive impact and profit for your business in general, be sure to head to infiniteimpactchallenge.com and join my next 21 day challenge.